Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I am outside of the grocery store. It is my Saturday morning, 7 a.m. grocery shopping trip. It's still pretty dark out and it's actually a little later this morning because I had my work real estate Christmas party last night. So I decided to sleep in a little bit longer this morning before I headed to the grocery store. But I have quite the list of things to get. I have to start getting ready for the holidays my baking, and of course, all of my food for the upcoming week. So I'm going to head in, do my grocery shopping. I'll be back to show you my grocery haul. We'll talk about what's on my plan for my meals and also cannot wait for meal prep once again this week. So if you want to see what I picked up for the upcoming week, my meal plan and meal prep, just stay tuned. <music> So here is my grocery haul for this week. I went to Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. I got quite a bit this week because I'm gearing up for some holiday meals as well as some baking, uh, both for Weight Watchers and also just for Christmas in general. So let's jump right into what I picked up for the week. So I saw these on Instagram and I wasn't able to find them. And as I was walking towards the checkout, I spotted them and had to pick them up. I've heard that they're delicious. This is the Equal Gingerbread Cookie. These are zero calories, so they're zero smart points, and they're just a flavored sweetener to add to coffee. So if you're having maybe a second cup of coffee and you don't wanna use points, this is a great alternative. I have not tried these yet, but I will definitely let you guys know how they are. They were $3.99 a box, and there is 80 packets. So Equal Gingerbread Cookie, and then I also picked up the Equal Peppermint Mocha. So I grabbed both of the seasonal flavors. They sound really good. I've heard that they're absolutely delicious, so I will definitely let you guys know, but I thought this was nice to have as a backup if you wanna have a zero point cup of coffee. Also some light butter. This is for, of course, just regular eating as well as for some baking. I did pick up some unsalted butter. I make sugar cookies every year and it calls for unsalted butter and we only had salted, so this is for those sugar cookies. In the bulk section, I grabbed some nuts for my snack meal prep. Really good tip, if you guys just need a little bit of nuts, half a cup, quarter cup for a recipe, and you don't want to eat them as snacks, it's great to go to the bulk section to pick up your nuts. So that's exactly what I did. So I have some of the roasted smoked almonds, also just some sunflower seeds, and then some pumpkin seeds or some pepitas. And again, the bulk section, everything was less than a dollar for both the almonds, the sunflower seeds, and the pepitas. So, Again, great place to go if you're just looking for a small amount for a recipe. Lots of eggs this week for baking. So these regular Kroger large eggs are for baking and recipes. And then for eating, I picked up the Pete and Jerry's organic eggs. I had a coupon for these. Otherwise, I would have got the happy eggs. But these are pretty good. Uh, they are a little more hit and miss as far as the orangeness of the yolk. I find that the happy eggs are a little bit more consistent, consistently a high quality egg. But because I had a coupon, a good coupon, I decided to pick these up for the week. Some meat, some 96.4 extra lean ground beef. I have quite a few recipes that call for ground beef this week. Also a pound of 93.7 ground turkey. I am on the green plan, so the 99% turkey I have to count points for. And I like the little fattier 93.7 a lot better as far as taste and texture. And I need this for a recipe as well. Center cut bacon. This is my very favorite, the private selection. You can have two slices of this bacon for only one smart point. So this is for meal prep as well. For my snack for the week, I picked up some reduced sugar craisins. These are the 50% less sugar. They are way less points. I think it's a tablespoon for one point. So they're great to add to salads or again, to use for any type of baking. Canned goods, I have a very small can of tomato sauce for a recipe. I also have a can of water chestnuts, and again, this is for an upcoming recipe as well. I always buy the sliced water chestnuts versus the whole. Diced tomatoes, no salt added. And then I picked up fat-free Ready Whip, of course. I pick this up every single week. I do still have quite a bit, but with the holidays coming up, I wanted to make sure that I was, you know, stocked up and don't run out of the Ready Whip. 
This is for Christmas, but I wanted to share them because you can work this type of thing into your day. These are the lint truffles. This is the assorted pack. We play a game on Christmas that you wrap things in saran wrap, and then you have to try to unwrap it as people roll dice. So I thought that these truffles, because they are individually wrapped, would be great to use in that game. So I picked those up chicken broth for an upcoming recipe again some salsa for a recipe actually the Kroger mild is really good and it is not spicy so if you are someone that doesn't really like spicy food this is a great salsa unsweetened applesauce again for 10 million recipes coming out for baking and then we do like to just eat this as a fruit with some cinnamon on top as well and then green olives just for snacking. My husband loves green olives, so we like to have these on hand. And this big jar was a great price at Kroger. And again, this is a great snack. It's great to put out on your Christmas spread. So I grabbed those. 100% cranberry juice. This is for my meal prep. They, this is very expensive to buy just raw cranberry juice that doesn't have any added sugar. So this is for a recipe and then I don't know what I'll do with it from there. Maybe I'll try to come up with another recipe um, because it's not the best to just drink, but it's really good for recipes and low in smart points. I also picked up some popcorn because this last week I really wanted popcorn and we didn't have any. And these are just the 100 calorie packs. I picked up the butter and sea salt from Jolly Time. So now I will have popcorn on hand when I am just craving some popcorn. Some dark brown sugar for baking. The only difference between dark and light is the amount of molasses. So my recipe actually called for dark. So I went ahead and picked up the dark brown sugar. Another bag of flour, just because tis the season for baking. Some itty bitty mini pretzels. One of my recipes called for mini pretzels. These are tiny teeny baby little pretzels, but you can have a ton of them for the smart points. So you feel like you're getting a lot for a little amount of points. So you can have 53 pretzels for I believe three points, but of course it is here on the screen for you. So I picked these up for that recipe and then just to have as snacks. Armor Hickory Smoked Summer Sausage. This is for Christmas. We like to do meat cheese crackers and I did pick up that cracker assortment from Trader Joe's. So I will have this and then we'll also slice up a couple different kinds of cheese. So I have Colby Jack and Extra Sharp Cheddar. So these will be for Christmas. So everything else I have is produce. So I picked up blueberries. These were on sale for I think $4.99 or $4.50 for this big pack. So I thought I would have blueberries as a fruit this week. Parsley for a recipe, two limes for my water. I almost got lemons, but I remembered how much I just love lime in my water. So I grabbed a couple more limes. These apples are for an upcoming recipe. Green onions for a recipe, green pepper for a recipe, four avocados. I need this for my lunch meal prep. And I picked up an extra one just to have on hand. I have been loving avocados. I've been eating them almost every single day. I just, I love them. This was a great deal. This is the Organic Girl Protein Greens. So these are sweet pea leaves and these were on sale for $1.99. And for my lunch meal prep, I am making a salad. So I thought that these would be nice to toss into the salad. And you can see they're just little micro greens and they're actually really, really good. I've had, I've had these before. And then Italian style lettuce mix. So it's romaine and radicchio. So I'll mix that with the protein greens and that will be the base for my salad. And then a butternut squash. I really wanted the pre-chopped, pre-cut, pre-everything butternut squash, but they didn't have any. So I get the pleasure of cutting this up, which is not fun, but it'll work because it's for my lunch meal prep. So that is everything other than a case of water that I picked up for this week. So let's get into my meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep. So let's get right into this week's meal plan and what I am doing this week for meal prep. This is my Carrie L meal planner. My new one is going to be delivered today. So I'll definitely be sharing that with you guys. She came out with some beautiful new covers that are awesome. And the inside, she kind of revamped the way she did the meal planner. And I'm so excited to get mine for 2020 in the mail. But this is the one I've been using all of 2019. I love it. I still have a little bit left as far as meal planning goes. So I'll continue to use it until it has been used up. 
but this is what my meal planner looks like. I do have the eight and a half by 11, which is the larger meal planner. She also has a seven by nine and she also has digital versions. So you can pretty much pick up whatever works best for you. But these meal planners are very comprehensive. There are several tabs down the side to help you plan your meals, give you recipe ideas, resources, places to take notes. I am excited to use this section, the gatherings for Christmas. You can plan any type of event at your house, the food that you're going to be serving, as well as making a grocery list to take to the store. So this section is going to come in extremely handy this time of year. Uh, we're gonna dive in a little bit more into the yellow tab, which is actually the meal plans tab. So each month you do have a calendar where you can map out your meal plan by the month. I use this every single week, as you can see. I like it for two reasons. One, because what I'm making for dinner the next day is here at a glance, so it makes it very very easy for me to know exactly what is on my meal plan for the next day. I can make sure I have all of the ingredients and I can also make sure that I have my meat pulled out of the freezer and ready to go. So I just take whatever recipes I'm making for the week and I just write them down and I only do track dinner in my meal planner only because I meal prep breakfast and lunch. So there's no reason that to track it here in the meal planner. And then every week there is also a weekly menu and this is where I'll go into a little bit more detail of what I'm planning. And again, I only do my dinners for the entire week. And there is also a detachable grocery list that you can take to the grocery store with you, which I do every single week. So mine is always missing. This is a great place. You can track your breakfast, your lunches. You don't just have to do your dinners. That's just what I do due to meal prep. So love it, love it. So each week you'll see that I have my grocery list missing and let's dive into this week. So this is the week of 1214 through 1220. My weeks go from Saturday through Friday. So today is Saturday and my plan is to go out to dinner. I don't know if this will happen. I may actually end up making dinner because I used my weeklies yesterday at my holiday party, but we shall see. I may just pick something up after my open house, but that's the plan for tonight. So tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going to be making Italian turkey meatballs with potatoes. So this is comfort food at its finest, but low points, so I can't wait for that. Also, I'm gonna be making a crock pot meatloaf on Monday, veggie pot pies on Tuesday. Wednesday is upside down taco pie. This sounds really good. I'm really excited about this recipe. Thursday, I'm gonna be making some cashew chicken. A couple of my subscribers suggested this recipe after seeing my nut stop haul, where I have cashews coming out my ears. So we're gonna be having cashew chicken on Thursday. And then Friday, we're actually going out to dinner with my mom. And then my mom and I are going to a play here at a live theater and my husband's going home because he doesn't want to go to the play but we're going to go out to dinner at a nice restaurant so i'll be using my weeklies next friday and then on the back of my weekly menu is where i plan out my meal prep so it makes it just really easy everything's in one spot so for breakfast this week i am so excited i am making a gingerbread apple pancake bake. So this is going to have all things Christmas flavored with gingerbread and apples and spices. Super excited about that. For lunches this week, I've been craving salad. I've really been wanting a big delicious salad. So I'm going to make a winter cob salad. Stay tuned for this recipe because it's a little bit different. It sounds really good, but it's not your traditional cob salad. So very excited for that. I'm going to be making a homemade cranberry nut granola. I've been wanting granola that's homemade to top my yogurt. So I'm gonna make some and it's going to be WW friendly, which is amazing. And then of course I have holiday baking coming out as well next Sunday. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be an eggnog recipe. So that is what's on my meal plan for the week and what I am doing for meal prep. So again, this is my Carrie L meal planner. If you are interested in picking yourself up a planner, again, she just came out with her new line of covers and they're absolutely gorgeous. You can use my code here on the screen for 10% off. So head on over to Carrie L, check it out. In my opinion, a staple on being successful on any eating plan is to be able to plan your food, meal prep, meal plan, have what you need on hand and ready to go so you're, you make good choices. So this Carriel meal planner definitely helps out with that.
Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul, my meal plan, my meal prep. I'm very excited about the recipes that I have coming your way this week. And of course, my meal prep, I'm very excited about that. I've been craving some salads. And then of course, a little holiday spirit with that gingerbread pancake bake. So hopefully you are as excited as I am about the upcoming recipes this week. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, that way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one, it means a lot to me and helps my channel out. And of course, comment down below, let me know what is the one recipe that you are most looking forward to for this next week. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.